And that was Bryn Gatlin dropping a goal to uh, clinch the Highlanders' victory against the Chiefs at Forsyth Bar. And on the line we have Bryn Gatland. Bryn, talk us through that match-winning droppy. Uh, it happened pretty quickly, to be honest, from um, sort of obviously once we lost the lead and, and Damien uh, has won. Um, uh, the sort of communication me and uh, Mitchie and um, Aaron had on the way back to kicking off was get the ball back, basically, and then basically either work towards the post, try to get a penalty, otherwise we're going to have to set up a droppy. That was sort of how it happened, and then basically I just sort of gave them an eyebrow lift because I didn't really want them too much knowing that I was going to have a crack at it. And um, <laughs> I saw Brad Weber coming out of my eye line, and he was coming pretty quick. And yeah. uh, I, had a good, I had a good chat to him after the game, and he reckons he got about a, a couple of fingernails on it, and it was pretty bloody close. So, um <laughs> I think there was a bit of luck involved there, guys. But um, yeah, look, I'm pretty happy that um, he was, ended up like that. If he was just a centimetre taller, he might have got it. Yeah, I didn't quite say that to him, but I think he knew that himself. <laughs> <laughs> of course, your dad is the coach of the Chiefs, Bryn. Um, have you guys chatted about taking the win from him? Um, I only saw him briefly after the game, um, and he had a couple of words I won't, won't repeat on here to say to me afterwards. But he was um, he was pretty happy for me as far as. Um, just a personal thing that I, you know, hadn't played a lot of rugby since my injury, and to get back on the field and do that. But um, I can tell when he's not too happy about obviously <laughs> the result, and he wasn't very happy with the result. The Hodaki Breakfast with Matt and Jerry, Radio Hodaki, the station for great New Zealanders.